Hey guys, it's Frankie Simply Imaginary People. I was asked to do a short tutorial on how to use the Curious Clementine, so Rude's stockings. So what you're going to do is you're going to open it in Photoshop and you'll see there's some instructions here, but I'll just do a short video. So what you literally need to do is when you've opened them in TSRW, you can see here in the mask you've got the writing as the fourth channel. So what we're going to do, I'm going to hide this. Um, going to just click on this UV map because I find that easier and then we're just going to make a text so text and you need it to be in this box here so I'm just going to text box and write hello choose a font install new font if you want that'll do make it the size you want it and move it where you want it. Obviously scale it. Doesn't matter which color it is. Right, when you're happy with the placement of it, then all you're going to do is you're going to unhide this and you're going to turn this into a layer by pressing rasterize type. Actually, before I do that, it is actually better to make this white because it makes your life easier. So highlight it, make it white. Okay, and now say rasterize type. If it's difficult with white, you can turn on this mask layer. Put that kind of, and turn off this guide. Oh no, even not that. I don't even know where the writing is. Okay, that doesn't work. No, there we go. I'll just leave that on. So write in white your text here that you want. Then rasterize type by right clicking and saying rasterize type. And then you're going to select this entire layer and say copy and go to channels, go to alpha and say paste and it's not doing it the way I want it to. Okay, so we'll go back and go back to RGB so I can see what I'm doing. So the best thing to do then is to just get a white brush and you can see that the corners don't have any UV map on them. So I'm just going to get a white brush make it relatively small and do a dot in each corner that helps and now I'm going to again copy this layer so you put the white dots on the same layer where you have the text make sure you don't hit this UV and then you go to channels and you go to alpha and the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take a paintbrush that's black and just paint over that Merry Christmas and then you're just going to press paste and you'll see you've got the little white dots and your hello so that's good. Then you're going to click back onto RGB, go back to layers, and you're going to undo the UV map. You're going to tick this mask layer, and you'll see it should look like this. If you have this uh, guide, just get rid of the guide. Make sure you only have the RGB here. Oh, that sticks. Okay, so in the end, what you need is this RGB layer. So should look like this with your text in white here and your alpha layer needs to have the text in white here in the same position and the rest should be black and now you're going to say save as dds and call it um, mask1 save it as a dds and now you're just going to open it as a dds I don't need to open it as a dds, I need to open it in here so all you can do now is if you want to keep the ones that say Merry Christmas and nothing, then you're just going to say duplicate the layer and you're going to import your mask. So mask one and you'll see it kind of looks the same. Say no, otherwise you'll replace the other versions. And then make sure all of these are on, true, 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 and this one's white, I think. So the last color, you just change it to the color you want your writing to be, so let's say I want it black. And you'll see, voila, it says hello. And you can do as many as you want. So you can duplicate this as many as you want and make as many versions of the mask as you want. And then you're just going to go to Edit Project Contents. Select it all. Click the first one. Shift, select the next one. Export to package. And call it this, that. Edit. If you put in loads of your colors and it won't let you... Um, 
export as package because it's saying it ran out of memory. Just go to file, export as Sims 3 pack, export it as whatever, one. Then reload TSW, so quit it and open it again. I'm just going to pretend I've done that because otherwise it'll take too long. And then you say new, import, browse, Sims 3 pack, open that one, and then once you've opened it, project contents. And export it. By exporting it as Sims 3 pack um, and then opening it again, it stops the crashing because it resets the memory usage. Right, there we go.